Hey, yo, with us here on a spa. Now, there is a trend that we're noticing, especially when it comes to uh, going out. There was a time when cafes used to be all about catching up with friends over coffee. But today, it's much more than that. The decor has changed and there's so much more on offer when you look at the menu. That's right. It's become more of a fine dining experience, at least in some places. We check out the classiest cafes in your city. The idea of going to a cafe has gone beyond sitting on wooden chairs and unimpressive interiors to adding a little luxury to your cafe experience. Well, an extensive menu that offers deli items to wines and desserts and the ambiance as good as a fine dining restaurant. And that's where the big change is really happening. Cafes investing a lot more into the design aspect. You see worldwide. There's a huge, how shall I say, change in trend where more and more people are opting for cafe style of service, yet from the point of design, from the point of the quality of food, it's as good as any other so-called fine dine restaurant would be. And so are the price points for that matter. People are no longer looking for eating out in whatever form it may be. It's no longer about just going and getting your food. It is about an experience. For instance, 212 All Day, the latest addition to Mumbai's homegrown collection of classy cafes. Far from being casual, this one is spacious and warmly lit, unlike most cafes. Also, a stark shift from regular ones are its dark wood finished tables and cushioned chairs, while the circular lights on the ceiling reflect spiral rings into the wine glasses on the tables, adding attention to detail as far as the interiors go. What also sets it apart is the seating arrangement. You know, it's a whole casual approach. Now, people do not want to really get dressed after having a hard day of work and all. They just want to be casually dressed and just come out for a quick uh, bite, which gives a great food at a great price also. It's a place you'd go to when you want to wrap up a quick meeting over a sumptuous Italian lunch. Each one presented just the way you'd expect at a high-end Italian eatery. Cozy to quirky, our next pick is Mama Goto, a chain of cafes in Mumbai and Delhi. Now here's a bit of a twist in the tale. While this place will give you the experience of a fine dining restaurant, what is strikingly different about it are its characteristically playful interiors. And that permeates down to the menu to a catalogue that allows you to buy any of these paintings that you see around here on the walls. So, on a boring date, this place will keep you company in more ways than one. It isn't hard for a place like Mamagoto to take your heart at the very first look. Interiors that are eccentric, busy and full of life, even when it's empty. It depicts a typical Pan-Asian cafe like one by the streets of China or Thailand. Tiger motifs, whitewashed wheels forming a cage-like private space, Asian art-inspired coasters and lamps, mama canvas adorning the walls, mama cushions on the sofas, and mama mugs for sale. The place is a fun escape. If you do manage to take your eyes off all that's happening around you, the cuisine is strictly Pan-Asian. and charming. Perched on the second floor of the Good Earth store in Delhi's popular Khan market, Ritu Dalmia's Cafe Latitude 28 is distinctly unique. You ask why? The cafe changes decor with the changing collection at Good Earth store. The current theme represents Bollywood superstar Shami Kapoor's blockbuster Kashmir Ki Kali from yesteryears on the walls and the ceiling. There's also an open veranda space in cool aqua green for a pleasant afternoon lunch. But that's not the only thing which distinguishes latitude from regular cafes. What it also emphasizes on is the menu, which seems to be on a diet. 
Latitude 28 is a favorite with the ladies. Reason being the wide variety of salads it has on offer. I have all my life struggled with weight. I still struggle with weight, unfortunately. Okay, so on the other hand, I eat out very often. I like to eat out very often. So if the, there's also a huge need in the market where you can go out, eat what you want without feeling guilty about it. Latitude, yes, we have a huge variety of salad. Uh, the food here is definitely a lot more health conscious, and but then Latitude is also a place where ladies lunch. So a cafe that also offers health. Clearly, the food palette too is changing. What seems to be the flavor though with cafes in Delhi and Bangalore is French. We spotted two of them. The first one, Cafe Noir, a terrace cafe atop Bangalore's UB City Mall. If you've been to Paris, Cafe Noir will immediately remind you of Parisian street cafes with open umbrella seating and black and white color tones. What you'd particularly find here are foreign expats who stop over for a quick grab of their French delicacies that largely include sandwiches, burgers, desserts and of course coffee. Yet another one is Le Bistro du Parc in Delhi. Unlike some of the others, Le Bistro isn't lavish in size. What sets it apart is its friendly neighborhood vibe and the authentic flavor of French food on its menu. Bistros are really part of uh, French people's lifestyle. Uh, you go to a bistro for a cup of coffee, you go to a bistro for a lunch, quick lunch alone, you go to a bistro for a huge family dinner. You, you inspire yourself from traditional bistro recipes, uh, but you give them a modern twist. But we're keeping the food authentically French, in the sense that we're not trying to um, you know, spice up uh, meals for the Indian palate, uh, etc. We really keep it authentic French. And here's one cafe that combines chic and sumptuous at the same time. How about sipping a cup of coffee in the lap of luxury? We're talking about the Kavali Cafe in Delhi's DLF Mall, the most expensive cafe India has ever seen. As far as the design goes, that replicates the brand's signature leopard spots and zebra prints everywhere. Photographs of the legendary designer dotting the walls and crystal fittings epitomize the Kavali experience to the T. In fact, the concept of classy cafes is getting more and more popular in the West. Look at what David Beckham and Gordon Ramsay have created. They've joined hands to open a Mediterranean-themed cafe in the south of the Thames. In fact, we're told that it has a very rustic, warehouse-like theme. It's yet another trend that we've seen pick up here in India as well. So clearly, when it comes to cafes, classy is the way to go. Sure seems like it. Let's take a very quick break. Uh, all this talk of cafes is making me want a coffee. We'll be back in just a moment. Yes, on the other side, we're taking a first look at luxury car maker Audi's latest launch, the Q3S.